Hello folks, welcome back for another update on the Reefer 250. Um, I think this is 21 months now in from the start. It's been a couple of months, just over a couple of months actually since my last update. Uh, so I thought I'd just uh, do another video just to update you with what's been going on. The water changes, or lack of water changes uh, experiment um, for the past four months. It's gone surprisingly well. Um, we've not really noticed any diminished growth, maybe a tiny bit in colour. Um, but we've done nearly four months now, so I'm not going to push the boundaries anymore because obviously, you know, I don't want anything drastically going downhill or the system, well, the system won't crash. But I don't know what the trace elements levels are at. Um, there's lots of trace elements, as, as you know. Uh, and obviously, without doing water changes and not replenishing those, I have been using the ABCD for the first couple of months, of the four months. And, um, but you know, I don't know what them levels must be, must be uh, getting low now. So what I've just come off of is I've just finished doing, um, I bought one of the large buckets of Coral Pro Salt and decided to just do a water change every single day until the bucket was out. So I've done 15, 17% water changes, so 37 litres per day, which is about 17% of this system. Every day, 15 days. So with my calculations, um, I reckon I've probably replaced 90 to 95% of the whole, of the water. Um, so 90, 95% of all the trace elements are back in the system again. I'm gonna come back on with Coral Colors A, B, C, D, just to, keep on top of the, uh, maintain the trace elements in the system. So yeah, that's that's where I am. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and go six months, no water changes, um, and just keeping all my parameters rock steady as I always do. Now that's the key, I think, with this system has been so successful just because I'm just all over it all the time. Test, alkalinity is the most important. Um, I test it at least every two or three days um, just to make sure it's where, it's where it should be. And I like to run it around nine. Um, calcium at 450, magnesium at 1350. Um, I'll run through the parameters in a minute, but yeah, basically keeping everything rock steady, I think is the, the key to the success with this. Um, and everything has just thrived so much so that when I get the camera off the tripod in a minute, I'll show you, I get massive problems with you know, I just over everything's overgrowing each other. I mean, I've got this green Montipora plating, Montipora is literally growing off the front glass here, and this hystrix, green hystrix, Seridipora, is touching the front glass here. Now, I can't get the cleaner magnet through, I clean the glass every day, um, but I can't get the cleaner magnet around, around here. I've even got coralline algae growing on the front glass here now, which is really annoying. Uh, and I can't get down to the bottom edges um, to clean the coral line off neither, so it's all building up here. Um, so that's what I'm, my next my next thing. I thought I'd be, I was going to I was going to be able to go to you know to get to the two year mark without having to frag, um, but I'm afraid that's that's not going to happen. After this video, I'm going to get in there and start snapping stuff off and tidying everything up and making a you know a frag rack up in the corner. So there'll be lots of frags available if you live near me. Uh, I'm in East Sussex, Bexel on Sea, East Sussex. So you're more than welcome to um, drop me a message in the comments box below. Um, I'll give you my contact details and you can pop round and see if you want to buy any frags. They'll be, they'll be cheap. They'll be nice, nice, nice size frags for half the money they'd be in, in, in the fish shops. Um, and I'm going to frag everything. There's going to be at least a couple of frags of, of each colony. Um, this green star polyp, this GSP, is growing on the front here. Same on the other side. Uh, it's just got ridiculous, so I've got my work cut out with fragging everything down. So yeah, obviously hit me up if you want to buy any frags. Um, some really nice, nice corals in here. Um, yeah, gives a shout. So anyway, everything's been going fine. All the fish stock fine, two clownfish fine, my tang, my mimic tang's great. Um, yeah, everything's, going good apart from it's just, just too much growth um, what I'm going to do once I've the trouble I've got is I would adjust my water parameters to slow down the growth and increase color and stuff 
uh, which if, if you're into this hobby, you know that's what you can do. You can slow the growth down um, by tweaking your parameters. At the moment, this, this system's set for, for, for high growth. Um, and obviously I've got to keep that way, because if I'm fragging everything down, these small coral frags will need them parameters set for growth, otherwise they're not going to, uh, they're not going to fare very well, I shouldn't think. So it's sort of become a victim of your own success, really. If you have success with it in a small system like this, you know, it gets to the point where, what do you do? You're going to have to sort of chop things down. and Because what happens is a lot of the corals are fine with touching each other in wood, entwining in each other. Um, others aren't. Um, I, when I get the camera off the tripod, I zoom in on some of the bits. Um, that tricolour postulopora in the centre there, that's very aggressive. Anything that touches it, 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 it bleaches, kills. Um, and obviously on bleached branches, you then get um, cyanobacteria, red cyanobacteria growing. Um, so it's far, it's, it's far from easy. Um, but let's get the camera off the tripod so I can show you a little bit more what's going in closer detail. Okay, let's move the tripod out of the way. This Montipora frag, which is a frag off this main colony here, has probably doubled in size since the last update. Everything that we've had good growth on. Now I'll show you what I mean. There we go, look, Montipora growing off the front glass, got a line all around it. Can't wait to deal with that, because it's really unsightly. Okay, so see this uh, tricolour postulopora here, where it's sending out its tentacles to the green barley slime, and there it's killed. It's one of that branch, two branches there, and there's red silo growing. So I'm going to have to sort of chop a lot of it off so it stops touching and colliding with other stuff. But then you get the two, the hystrix entwined with each other fine, Montipora is fine. Um, yeah, a lot of them are fine. The, the, the soft corals, the GSP, that's, uh, although I've put it on these dedicated islands, really growing out it's starting to stretch and try and reach onto the main vulcan rock see it here it's growing on the front glass <coughs> and there's a close-up there of the montipora growing on the front glass i never envisioned the uh the rate of growth to be so good Everything's the colonies to grow this big so quick. I've even got GSP growing on the side ball here and going onto the back. And there's a small patch of uh, pulse coral that some has made its way over here somehow. Obviously, a fragment of it is broken off and it's it started on the bit of rock just down here by this GSP and it's crawled up. So I've got to keep an eye on that. It's quite controllable actually, with the lower nutrients of this system, sort of running one part per million, you know, what, sort of zero to two parts per million nitrate, and hardly any phosphate. It seems to be very controllable. It uh, doesn't go mad. This coral at the back is just, it's huge. Um, this one is Possilopora, and this one at the back is uh, two that I saved from my cousin's tank and they've just gone ballistic. They were literally the size of a matchstick, that one at the back. Where green barley slimer has attached itself to the back wall, which is good, and it's starting to spread up. So hopefully we should get some shoots spreading from there. A quick top down view before the wave machines come back on. I'm 
keeping the water parameters, I run through them quickly like I do in every video. Um, starting from the top, temperature 26 degrees. My salt is at 35 parts per thousand. Alkalinity at 9. Calcium 450. Magnesium 1350 to 1400. Uh, my nitrates 0 to 2 parts per million. They're currently at 0 0.5, which is a little bit low, really, considering I'm not feeding any coral, so I'll probably let that go up to about 1, 1 1.5. <clears throat> I'm using Red Sea's no pox to control the nutrients. Um, just 2 mil a day keeps that really low, you know, the level down below 2 parts per million. Um, yeah. Fish stock doing great, peacock wrasse, it's grown loads. There he is. Great colours. Mimic tang. It's getting larger, really healthy. Borderline on being too uh, too big for this tank really, or the tank being too small. Until we can afford an upgrade. He's going to have to put up with the, uh, he seems fine, he doesn't seem stressed at all, there's never been any white spot um, since the last incident, a white spot that I only had a white spot once in this system, didn't last long, when I uh, tried to introduce another tang if you remember. Um, shrimp, it's got to be three years old this shrimp to come out of my little nano tank before the system straight into here it's uh how long are they they're supposed to live sort of three years four years max but yeah really healthy my two clownfish and their little hole and their little home and the pulse coral doing great but as you can see where well, i've gone in to try and do sort of different cleaning cleaning of bits and bobs you get stuff snap off. Like these two bits here, some green hystrix there, and some green elkhorn. But it's so hard, if you, if you go in the, in the tank to, to do any sort of maintenance, you end up snapping something. So we're gonna have a good frag down of, of of the lot. My algae blenny. Great character. Okay, let's show you down in the sun quickly. Get the light on. Everything going good down here. Using all Red Sea products, so Red Sea Coral Pro Salt, Red Sea Respect Carbon, Red Sea Reef Foundation A, B, and C powder uh, form for the solution to make solutions up for the dosing containers. Coral colours A, B, C, D, and Red Sea's Nopox, which is uh, Nopox is such a, oh, I found to be such a good way of controlling your nutrients, keeping your nitrates and phosphates down to the bare minimum. What's nice about it is that you can fine tune it, obviously the more you dose in, um, the lower the level, but you can get it, so you, you know, if you want to run a certain amount of level, like for example, the system I've just tested yesterday for everything and my nitrates were at 0 0.5, which I want to run up a little bit higher than that, so what I'll do is just back off with the Nopox um, for a week, so I'm just going to do one meal maybe a week, uh, a day, one meal a day for a week, and I'll, I will notice that the, the nitrates will rise to one, two parts per million. But then you come back on again with two, two mil a day, just to keep it at bay. You don't want to rise too, uh, too high. Oh, 
I'm hoping this video will come out good on the new smartphone, it's the, the S8. It should be good. What I'm going to do is hopefully do a video, a video every week on a certain subject. So, so the next one, because I get a lot of questions on about equipment, what, what lights am I running my lighting schedule? Actually, that's that's a, a question I get a lot of. What am I running my lights on? Basically, they're on a 12-hour cycle. I come on at uh, 12 midday and go off at 12 midnight. And I just slowly ramp up the intensity and the colour uh, on the Kessels. But I'll do a video separately on that. So every week I'll do a, 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 a video on a certain subject. So I might do one on equipment or certain parts of equipment, um, a costing video. Um, yeah, so watch out for, for future posts on my channel any questions you got folks please uh, hit them up in the comments box below I'm just going to wrap the video up in a sh shortly slowly changing colour my Mimic Tang. Still very yellow, but around the fins, as you can see in the face, it's gone blue. I would imagine over the next 12 months we see some drastic changes to his colouring. Peacock grass. Okay folks, till next time, thanks for watching, please subscribe.